what it does is what we think it does is it binds to a receptor in your mouth uh, known as TRPV1 and it when it binds to that receptor that receptor is associated with heat with physical abrasion and when it binds to that receptor it causes the same response and so you get that sensation almost like you've burnt your mouth on a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or you uh, you know brush your teeth too hard you know you get this burning sensation although it's not actually happening and so you know that's why uh you know chilies cause that that uh, sensation in your mouth it's binding to your receptor um so just like uh, chilies milk is a really complicated mixture of lots of different things lots of food products are and one of the things in milk or a couple of the things in milk that we believe interact with capucin or maybe like make capucin less effective at causing that burning sensation in your mouth is because milk has a high fat content and it's thought that that high fat content can interact with the fatty nature of capucin and sort of bring it away from the receptor. And the other aspect of milk that we, we think interact with uh, the capucin um, molecule, if you like, is a casein. And casein is a kind of protein that's in milk. And again, it has a sort of fatty nature and that fatty nature will attract capucin, bind to it. And obviously if capucin is bound to uh, casein or it's dissolved in the fat in the milk, it's not reaching the receptor to cause that effect. So there is some evidence to suggest that's what's going on, but like everything in science, we're not completely sure.